Hello, everyone. My name is Ivan Sang. Today, I'm happy to give a talk about our result, Atlas Efficient and Scalable MPC in the Honest Majority Setting, co-authored with Vipo Goya, Han Jun Li, Refu Ostrowski, and Antigone Polychroniado. Multi-party computation allows several mutually distrusted parties to evaluate a function on their private inputs. It guarantees that the protocol execution does not leak anything about the individual inputs beyond what can be inferred from the function output. Usually, the functionality is represented as a circuit. And in particular, here we choose to use an arithmetic circuit over a finite field. The circuit supports addition and multiplication operations. In this work, we focus on the information direct setting with Ant's majority and assume a P2P channel between every pair of parties. We are interested in both the semi on security and the malicious security with the board. In the following, we use N for the number of parties and T for the number of profit parties. Before we move on, I would like to motivate my talk by answering the following two questions. First, why do we care about the unconditional MPC? A key feature of the unconditional MPC is that we do not need any expensive cryptographic primitive, such as public key encryption or obvious transfer, and the protocol is secure unconditionally. Comparing with protocols in the computational setting, one major benefit is that protocols usually do not require complicated and time-consuming local computations. As a result, the most efficient MPC protocols are in the unconditional MPC paradigm. Second, why do we focus on the communication complexity? Since the local computations are typically simple, often just a series of linear operations, the efficiency of a protocol in the real world is dominated by its communication complexity. A well-known semi-honest protocol was introduced by Damgard and Nelson in 2007. We refer to this protocol as the DM protocol. It only requires to communicate six elements per multiplication gate per party. Due to its simplicity and efficiency, the DM protocol plays a central role in the progress of efficient secure computation. Many subsequent works have used the DM protocol to achieve security with the board or guaranteed output delivery. However, any improvement to the basic DM protocol has been hard to come by. An exception is the recent work of Goya and others who proposed a marginal improvement from six elements to 5.5 elements. In this work, we propose Atlas, an unconditionally secure MPC protocol in the ant majority setting with reduced communication complexity over the celebrated DM protocol. Concretely, we improve the basic DM protocol leading to a communication complexity of four elements per multiplication gate per party. We also construct a round efficient MPC protocol whose communication complexity is 4.5 elements per multiplication gate per party, but having the number of runs. In the semi ons regime, the well-known DM protocol requires to communicate six elements per multiplication gate per party. Recently, the work of Goya and others proposed a marginal improvement and achieved 5.5 elements per multiplication gate per party. Both of our constructions achieve better communication complexity compared with these two works. In the meanwhile, our second protocol enjoys the feature that the round complexity is reduced by a factor of two. In the malicious security regime, relying on recent techniques, both of our protocols can achieve malicious security with the board without affecting the concrete efficiency. Our work makes use of the standard Shamir secret sharing. Informally, a Shamir secret sharing uses a random polynomial to hide a single secret at the evaluation point zero. Recall that T is the number of corrupted parties in our construction, we use the Shamir secret sharing with degree t. It satisfies that the secret can be reconstructed with any t plus one shares. 
and any T shares are independent of the secret. We use the square brackets of X with subsequent T to represent a degree T Shamir secret sharing of the value X. Here are two properties of the Shamir secret sharing scheme. The first one is linear homomorphism, namely adding two degree T sharings X and Y yields a degree T sharing of the secret X plus Y. The second property is that multiplying two degree T sharings X and Y gives a degree 2D sharing of the secret X times Y. In the following, we will first introduce our construction that improves the concrete efficiency over the semi-Einstein protocol. We first review the DN multiplication protocol, which is the core of the DN protocol. Given two input sharings X and Y, our goal is to compute an output sharing of the secret X times Y. The main observation is that multiplying two degree T sharings yields a sharing of the correct value, but higher degree. Therefore, the main task is to reduce the degree of the multiplication result. The DN multiplication protocol starts with a pair of random sharings of the same value. One is a degree T sharing, and the other one is the degree 2D sharing. These two sharings are referred to as double sharings. Double sharings can be efficiently prepared. Here we omit the, the generation precise for simplicity. All parties first locally compute a degree 2D sharing of X times Y plus R. Each party simply multiplies shares of X and Y and then add its share of R. Then the first party P1 receives the whole sharing of X times Y plus R, reconstruct the secret, and distribute the results to all other parties. Finally, to obtain the correct results, all parties subtract the random degree sharing of R from the reconstruction result. This completes the description of the DN multiplication protocol. Note that the only interactive step is the second step where the first party needs to receive the whole sharing of X times Y plus R and distribute the result to other parties. In GSC20, Goya and others observed that the first party may send shares of the reconstruction results rather than the result itself. Recall that in the original protocol, the reconstruction result is used to compute the final sharing of X times Y. This is achieved by subtracting the random degree sharing of R from the reconstruction result. Note that if the first party sends shares of the reconstruction result, all parties can still obtain a sharing of the multiplication result by subtracting the random sharing of R from the sharing distributed by the first party. This observation leads to a marginal improvement in GSD20. Different from GSD20, we make two observations when the first party is an honest party. First, when the first party receives the whole sharing of X times Y plus R, since P1 is the only receiver, corrupted parties do not receive any messages. Second, when the first party sends shares of the reconstruction result to other parties, corrupted parties only receive uniform values as their shares. These two observations hold even if the adversary knows all the shares of double sharings that are used in the multiplication protocol. Therefore, if the first party is an honest party, then corrupted parties do not learn any information even if we do not use uniform double sharings. In other words, uniform double sharings are only needed when the first party is corrupted. Indeed, during the protocol execution, we cannot distinguish whether the first party is honest or corrupted. Our idea is to play the role of the first party in a round robin way. It ensures that at least a half of multiplication gates are handled by honest parties. Hopefully, we only need to prepare uniform double sharings for multiplication gates handled by crowded parties. 
To this end, our second idea is to use TOS independent double sharings. It ensures that the double sharings used by crowded parties are uniformly random. In summary, our idea is to play the role of the first party in a round robin way and rely on the TOS independence. We show that all parties can locally transform T pairs of uniform double sharings into N pairs with TOS independence. Note that we do not need to change the original DM protocol, but just replace the double sharings used in the protocol. As for the concrete efficiency, in the DM protocol, the amortized communication complexity per pair of double sharings is four elements per party. During the online phase, all parties need to send their shares of a degree 2D sharing to the first party and receive the reconstruction from the first party. Therefore, in the online phase, each party needs to communicate two elements per modification gate. In total, the DM protocol requires to communicate six elements per modification gate per party. Our work reduces the number of random double sharings. Specifically, we only need T pairs of random double sharings to evaluate N multiplication gates. Therefore, we reduce the cost per pair of double sharings by a factor of two, that is two elements per party. The total communication complexity of our protocol becomes four elements. Now let's see how to reduce the round complexity without affecting the concrete efficiency. Can we evaluate the two layer circuit in parallel? If we can answer this question affirmatively, then we can evaluate the whole circuit two layers each time and reduce the round complexity by a factor of two. Clearly, the main difficulty is that gates in the second layer require the results from the first layer. For a multi multiplication gate in the second layer, how should we evaluate this gate without learning the inputs? We first recall the notion of Beaver triple. A Beaver triple contains three sharings. The sequence of these three sharings satisfies that the third, secret, the third secret is equal to the multiplication of the first two secrets. For two public values u and v, we may write u minus a times v minus b as u times v minus u times b minus v times a plus a times b. Then if we replace a, b, and a times b, by their corresponding sharings in the Beaver triple, we obtain a sharing of the modification result of u minus a and v minus b. Therefore, with the help of a Beaver triple, all parties can locally multiply the two sharings u minus a and v minus b. Now let's go back to our problem. For each multiplication gate in the second layer, if the first input sharing is in the form of u minus a, the second input sharing is in the form of v minus b, and all parties hold the Beaver triple a, b, and a times b, then all parties can locally evaluate this multiplication gate as what we just described. We observed that to prepare the Beaver triple, we only need to know the first two sharings a and b, in particular, the two public values u and v can be learned afterwards. Therefore, if the protocol for the first layer satisfies that the output sharing is in the form of u minus a, that is a constant minus a sharing, and all parties learn the sharing a before evaluate this gate, then all parties can prepare the beaver triple at the same time as the evaluation of the first layer. Fortunately, the original DM multiplication protocol perfectly fits our need. Recall that this is the whole process of the DM multiplication protocol. First, note that the output sharing is in the form of a constant minus a sharing. Specifically, 
here x times y plus r serves as the row of the constant value u, and the shear ring r serves as the row of the shear ring a. Thus, the first, the first property is satisfied. For the second property, note that the shear ring r is a part of the double shear rings used in the protocol, and this pair of double shear rings is prepared before the running of this protocol. Therefore, our par all parties learn the shear ring r, which serves as the row of the shear ring a before evaluation. In summary, our evaluation strategy works as follows. All parties first use a pair of random double shear rings to evaluate the first multiplication gate. Then all parties use a different pair of random double shear rings to evaluate the second multiplication gate. In the meantime, all parties use the, the shear ring A from the first pair of double shear rings and the shear ring B from the second pair of double shear rings to prepare the B or triple for the multiplication gate in the second layer. Note that these three steps can be done at the same time. Finally, all parties can locally evaluate the multiplication gate in the second layer with the help of the Beaver triple. In conclusion, all parties can evaluate a two-layer circuit in parallel. We would like to clarify the question that why we do not prepare the Beaver triple in the preprocessing phase. This is because in the real execution, one input sharing of a multiplication gate in the second layer may come from the output sharing of an addition gate in the first layer. In this case, the first two share the first two share rings A and B in the Beaver triple are only known during the execution, which means that we cannot prepare the Beaver triple before evaluating the previous layers. As for efficiency, in odd layers, all parts need to use the original DM multiplication protocols. This is because we need the output share rings from odd layers to satisfy our requirements. For even layers, we only need to prepare the Beaver triples, which can be done by our new multiplication protocol. Assuming that the number of multiplication gates in odd layers is the same as that in even layers, the amortized communication complexity is five elements per multiplication gate per party. Although we cannot directly use our new protocol for multiplication gates in odd layers, we show that we can still use TOS independence to improve the original DM protocol from six elements to 5.5 elements without changing the output form. Therefore, we can achieve 4.5 elements per multiplication gate per party at the end. We test our two constructions and compare them with the previously best known result GSD20. Our experiment generates a random circuit with 1 million multiplication gates. We set up our experiments in the LAN setting and use the 61-bit Morrison field. The numbers in the table are reported running time in milliseconds. The experiments show that when using the proper variant, our protocol is about 1.4 times faster than GSC20. We note that when the circuit depth is, <coughs> when the circuit is shallow, for example, when the circuit depth is 20, our TOS independence variant is better than our round compression variant. When the circuit is deep, for example, when the circuit depth is a thousand, our round compression variant performs better than our TOS independence variant. In reality, we can choose the proper variant based on the circuit depths. In summary, in this work, we construct a new efficient multiplication protocol that achieves the communication complexity of four elements per multiplication gate per party. Our idea is to use the DM protocol, play the role of the first party in a round robin way, and rely on the TOS independence. Then we improve the round complexity to achieve a better concrete efficiency. Our idea is to carefully combine the idea of BR triple with the original DM protocol. As a result, we managed to evaluate a two-layer circuit in parallel, which allows us to construct a round efficient protocol 
host communication complexity is 4.5 elements per multiplication gate per party. And the run complexity is reduced by a factor of two. Altogether, our protocol Atlas is the fastest MPC protocol in the ANSI majority setting. Thank you.